It's weird for me to think that Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess came out so long ago, but it has really been that long. This was my launch title. This was the game I was looking forward to when the Wii came out. It did have some new motion controls for sword fighting, especially for shooting arrows, which added a little bit more than what um, the version was on GameCube. I've heard the GameCube version was very good, but I've never played it. This was mine. Now I bought this game myself, I didn't actually uh, get it with the system. And I played the crap out of it over that winter holiday. I thought it was really fun, and while it did have some retread issues, it did de definitely feel like Ocarina of Time. But that was really the point, that's what people wanted. They wanted a darker, grittier Zelda that looks like what they remembered Ocarina of Time looked like. Now I think this game is an improvement in a lot of ways over that title in that there's enhanced horseback riding. There's the wolf thing, which is kind of interesting. The look is very dark and interesting. There's a much more realized world. It definitely feels like people could exist in there. The weapons are crazy, and though you don't use them that often afterwards, they're definitely out there. The huge ball and chain, the weird like spinning disc top thing. I thought the boss battles were crazy too, and oftentimes they utilize those weapons. Now it's kind of interesting that the Wii is bookended by Zelda titles. He had this one as the first big title to come out, and then Skyward Sword is the last big title to come out, and sort of ended the system. Now really the true measure of the Wii's success is just how little this affected that success. It's a good game, it's a popular game, it sold quite a bit, but this wasn't the most popular title at launch. And we may as well talk about that next.